what's up guys uh, welcome back uh, it's been a long while since we did our last uh, tutorial so today we are going to look at uh, what we call the QGIS plugins so QGIS plugins are uh, I would refer to them as a set of tools that uh, provide additional functionality to the basic or to the normal uh, QGIS functions uh, these functionalities may range from uh, downloading of uh, data uh, to doing batch analysis, uh, batch uh, uh, spatial analysis, and uh, among others. So, to install a QGIS plugin, you we have two methods, and we'll start with the first one. So, we will load our QGIS or open our QGIS. And then as it opens we have we have what we call uh, we have uh, one of the among the menu items above here we have something written plugins one of the menus uh, after the settings between the settings and the vector we have the plugins uh, menu that contains the Python console and uh, managing and installing plugins so we will click on manage and install plugins and at this point it is trying to fetch the, repos the repositories from the internet so this means that you need to have an internet connection uh, to download uh, the QGIS plugin so this opens a widget that is titled plugins and as you can see we have a title here saying installed and uh, we have uh, number seven inside the brackets this means that seven uh, plugins this is a, a count of the plugins that are installed so some of these are core plugins so when i click on the first plugin which is a db manager you will notice that there is something at the top uh, written this is a core plugin so it comes with uh, qgis then all these are just uh, core plugins uh, since i've not into installed any uh, plugin so far so we are going to install a plugin and uh, one of the plugins that we are going to install is called OSM so I'll just do OSM uh, you will note that we, we have a blank space here this is because the menu that we are on is uh, installed so we need to navigate to the not installed because we want to install a plugin that is not there so you click on not installed and under OSM we have all these options so I will select the OSM downloader. I, when I click on it, it's highlighted in blue. And then you, there's a button there, three buttons at the bottom here, where, uh, bottom right, whereby you can use the first button to install plugins. You can close this uh, widget by clicking on the close and you can also navigate to the help page in the internet by clicking the help button. So we we'll just click on install and it downloads it from the internet uh, it has completed and the, I know that it has completed because it indicates up here and then I'm going to close my widget so uh, we, to confirm we can just go back to the plugins menu and under install you'll see we have OSM downloader at in, and it indicates that it is installed now there is something else here we have a checkbox inside here this the tick inside uh, this white box so the plugin uh, menu uh, is located here it is a bit a bit uh, transparent so let me increase the size uh, using the settings increase it to something like 64 so this is the plugin uh, OSM downloader and even when I place my cursor you can see download OSM data by a rectangle section so I will go back to my plugins uh, widget and then notice what happens when I che and check this and I uncheck this box it disappears when I check it it comes back so you may install a plugin and you do not see it in the menu uh, these menu bars 
uh, or toolbars. So what you can do, you can just try and uh, you go back to the plugins and ensure that it is checked. So uh, that activates it and unchecking deactivates it. So if you are not interested with the plugin or if you had you have used it and you do not need it anymore, you can also uninstall by clicking the uninstall. So I'll just close this. Uh, or rather I'll just uninstall. Uh, it will ask me whether I want to uninstall, so I'll just say yes. And it has been uninstalled. Usual uh, plugins for the the ones that come in with QGIS are ref well referred to as the core plugins. Yeah, so for more detail, you can also refer to the uh, QGIS plugins page and uh, the details and updated plugins and uh, all the information relating to them. So in our next video, we are going to look at uh, one of the plugins and see how it helps extend the QGIS functionalities.